Deepa Hotsteks Mabusa being here with us on this very special mo morning. Um, no doubt, not a not a nice occasion to be to be uh, serenading Voyo on this day. Um, I am not joined by Voyo's children, his very brave children who have come out to talk to us this morning. Guys, how I, uh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling this morning? Um, I think I'm still in a bit of shock, like the fact that there will be no dad to pick me up from school on Monday and there's like those there won't anyone to come switch on my lights at like five o'clock in the morning and start wanting to talk to me it's a bit like surreal at the most okay. yeah. how are you doing um, on Wednesday for me it's sunk in he's gone he was a great man but yeah yeah. Have to deal with it. There's life after it. Yeah. You're wearing the bow tie. I am. You are. I had to. You look like him. You know that. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm glad you said thank you because it's a compliment. Yeah. I. I mean, what? What was? It, what was it? You, your father, when you saw him. What? What did you see when you saw your father? Because we know as South Africans, what we saw. But he was your dad. What did you see? He was just always a happy person. Always joyful and his energy, his laughter, just always happy. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you, I mean, he would rave about you and your beauty and he just said, this girl of mine, she's just getting bigger and bigger and more beautiful by the day. And he says, these boys, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was he like to you? What was he like as a dad? Was he a strict what father? He wasn't strict. He, he wasn't strict? No. Your I, father wasn't strict? As my mom and my brother say, they think I used to bully my dad. <laughs> I used to kind of maneuver my way out of things. But he was, he was the go with the flow kind of dad. He'd listen to our kind of music. He'd, he'd kind of chill with us and watch what we're watching. He was yeah. a there and now kind of person. Yeah. yeah. And sports. I, I, I would have to listen every morning to what you had to say about a soccer match or a rugby match or any other sporting event because clearly that's where you got to go. you got to go into sports because you, you're the sports analyst here. Yeah, that was me and my dad. <laughs> sports, sitting in the lounge Saturday morning because we had, we had two blankets in the lounge so I'd sleep with one and use the other as a pillow and then he'd come in and holding two pillows so he'd give me one, take the blanket and then use the pillow and the blanket, and we'd watch Arsenal. And uh, so that, that's your team, Arsenal. Yeah. Forever. Oh, yeah, Arsenal forever. Okay. I know your, your father would come in, and he'd be very, very upset if we didn't show the goals from the night before. So would I. Whenever I watched the show, it you seemed see. that Morning Life would never show Arsenal goals. Yeah. It was, you know, it was a conspiracy. You know that. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> I, what, what are you? Did you expect South Africa to react this way? No, like he was my dad, like he was a person who told me I need to pull up my socks. Then the I never thought that he touched so many people's lives and impacted people and walked in, was in people's lounges, like the warm jersey every morning. Uh, like it's kind of unbelievable that he did this just by waking up in the morning and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Did, did you? did you know? Did you know South Africa loved your dad this much? I did. Whenever we were out with him, you know, he'd be stopped, he'd be, Oh, yo, nice to see you, man. Bonnet TV. So, yeah, I, I knew South Africa loved him, yeah. but not this much. But not this much, eh? I, you know, I, I, I knew that South Africa loved him so much because, because they drove me mad for him. Everywhere I'd go, it would be, please tell Vuyo I say hello. Whatever you do, just tell Vuyo I say hello. And I'd be, okay, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll tell him. They, they, they absolutely loved him. Um, when you when you heard the news of of this of this this, this tragic event, um, what what went through your mind? What was? It's a tough question, I know, but what what was the first thing that came to your mind? My heart sank. I was with my mom in a car, and it just sank. And then I started thinking of my brother, who was by himself in Bloemfontein. But it wasn't an easy thing to hear that my 14th of May partner in crime, the person whose birthday I shared with, it was like... Yeah. Because when I wished him happy birthday, he just wanted to wish you happy birthday. It was ne yeah. I think the day it w he was, you were born, it was never about him anymore. 15 years ago. It was about you, 15 years ago. That yeah. was it, yeah. How were you? How, how, how did you feel on, on Saturday? That moment, I just thought, I need my family. Yeah. And your family is here. I've never seen support like this before. Yeah. yeah. 
It's a great family I have. Yeah. I think you, you kids are going to go and do your father proud. And, and I think you've, you've got amazing genes in you that you can only but do good. And we're so proud of you and your dad is so proud of you. You've got to know that, all right? Sipo Sikhle, Sit and Cozy, we love you on behalf of South Africa and thank you for sharing your memories with us. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's take a break. We'll be with you after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>